Five ways to make friends with your cat. Everyone knows that cats are the most illogical and unpredictable pets. Can you work out what's going through that furry little head? However, cats have their language, and if you learn it, there's a chance you'll understand them much better. We've put together all the possible cat behaviors to help you find a common language with your pet. Well, if it allows you to. Also, we've prepared three essential tips that will help you communicate with cats better. One, the tail is raised. A raised upward and curled tail means your cat is happy with its life. Congrats, you are already best friends with your cat. How did you manage to do it, by the way? Do you know any secrets on how to please cats? Let us know in the comments below so that others can learn your tricks too. Occasional twitches. Occasional twitches means your cat is excited or worried about something. Also, vets say when a cat nervously jerks its tail or keeps knocking its tail on the floor, it means your pet is in pain or stressed. Maybe it's time to take your cat to a vet. The fur juts out. When the fur on the cat's tail juts out in different directions, it means your fluffy friend is very excited or feels threatened. The aim of fluffing the tail is to create an illusion that the cat is larger than it is. That way, your cat is showing its enemy that it's really big and scary to deal with. The tail vibrates. The cat vibrates its tail slightly when it's agitated and glad to see you. It also means that your cat is excited, waiting for something, for instance, for a treat. The tail sticks straight up. If your cat sticks its tail straight up and bends its back to form an N, you need to pay special attention to this. It's a sign of extreme aggression and it occurs during self-defense. If nothing dangerous happens around, try to calm your cat down by petting it. The tail is inclined at a low angle. The straight but inclined tail is a sign of slight aggression or fright. Also, when a cat doesn't know if there is a friend or enemy around, it keeps the tail at an angle of 45 degrees. The tail is lowered. The cat lowers its tail toward the ground when it's frightened or feels guilty. Most often, cats tuck their tails between their paws when they are afraid of something or someone. Also, it's a sign of insecurity and submission. Have a look around the house. Your cat has probably done something naughty and lowers its tail knowing that you're going to punish it. The tail is wagging from side to side. If your cat wags its tail sharply from side to side, it means it is angry. It's best to leave your pet alone. However, it might also mean that your cat wants to play with you. Why do cats wag their tails while sitting next to their owners and feeling completely satisfied? It's simple. The cat checks if there is an enemy behind its back. 2. The eyes. Dilated pupils. Dilated pupils indicate strong feelings, playfulness, agitation, fright, or aggression. In case a house is new for your cat, it dilates its pupils as a sign that it's not used to the new place yet. Your cat needs time to examine the situation and people around. A direct look. When a cat looks directly in your eyes, it means it trusts you. Your pet is comfortable being around you. A slow blink. A slow blink indicates that your cat is calm. Your pet feels comfortable and safe. Sometimes it might even purr while blinking slowly. Three, interactions with people. Rubbing against you. If a cat rubs against you, it is marking you as its territory and property. Poking. Poking with a wet nose is an expression of attachment. It indicates your cat feels comfortable and safe being around you. Rubbing his head or tail. 
When a cat rubs its head, side, or tail against you, it is just saying hello. Butting slightly. Butting you slightly with its head is a sign of friendliness. Your pet is in love with you. Shifting from one paw to another. Cats often move from one paw to another when they are happy or want to play. Licking you. If a cat licks you, it's a definite sign that it trusts you and considers you part of its family. Eating your hair. When your cat bites your hair, it's simply trying to clean you. It is another strong sign of love and trust. Biting you. When a cat bites you, take it as a sign that your pet wants to be left alone. Yep, cats also need to have some private time as well as us humans. On the other hand, light biting means your cat is just playing with you. Four other gestures. If a cat raises its nose up and throws its head, it's saying, "I see you." Cats often make this gesture to people walking past the window. Have you ever noticed it? A cat might press its ears against its head if it feels scared, worried, or wants to play. They also do this when they are sniffing something that's interested them. When a cat sticks its tongue out slightly and licks itself, it's worried or anxious. Five cat language. Cats generally greet people or announce their presence with a short sound. <coughs> Lengthy meowing indicates that your cat is very glad to see you. This occurs if you're away from home for a long time. <coughs> a medium-length meow might be a request for water or food. Long sound, a mix of purring and meowing, is a more insistent request or demand. A low meow is a complaint or indication of dissatisfaction. Also, it might mean your cat is ready to fight. A loud sound often indicates an urgent demand. For instance, your cat needs more food. A purring or vibrating sound indicates a desire for closer contact or attention. Cats purr for various reasons, but most often they do it when they are happy. Now, here are the three important tips to communicate with your cat better: how to make your cat trust you, lowering your cat to the ground, make sure its paws have reached the floor. Your cat will trust you and know that it won't tumble if you let it go. How to stroke your cat? If you sit on the floor with your legs crossed and look at your cat, it will interpret this as a friendly gesture and come up to you and let you stroke it. Also, to ask for permission to stroke your cat, stretch your hand out in its direction. Your middle finger should be a little lower than the others. The cat will start rubbing its nose or face against your hand. How to make your cat appear? A cat may go and hide and only appear when it's alone or hears a calm voice. Now you know how to find a common language with any cat. By the way, are you a cat person or a dog person? Hit the like button for cats and leave a short comment if you are in love with dogs. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.